Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. Got to hit your heart. If you want to love it. We have a birthday girl here. <laughs> Violet, what do we say to the birthday girl? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Don't eat anything poisonous, and you'll live to be 27. We're going to we're going to look at the key features of the plants and make sure we have them right. We'll go over all of the food and medicinal uses, ecology, science, some history, folklore, mythology. If you're more interested in cooking, we'll cover more cooking. If you're more interested in medicinal uses, or if you really hate your boss, we'll go over lots of poisonous plants and all the symptoms. If you eat the wrong plant, if you want to change, you got to choose your way. If you want to change, there ain't nobody gonna do it for you. you it's called Shisu. Even though it doesn't belong in America, it's a Japanese plant. There's not a lot of it, and we want to give it a chance to proliferate if it can. So pass this around. You can taste it. So quick as much as you want. Try to strip off the weed. The stems are tough. Strip off the weed. There ain't nobody gonna give it to you. Is it edible? Can I taste like lettuce? Here, let us see what you think. Like cook it with Common blue butter. It's good. We're gonna eat it, definitely. Good? Oh, don't step on anything here. Keep both feet off the ground. And this is related to spinach. Who likes spinach? Here, tell me if this is not a superior version of spinach. But there's a warning. There's a totally different plant here called white snake root. It has opposite leaves, like quick weed. The leaves are much bigger, they're triangular. And uh, this is a deadly plant. So this can kill you uh, without even uh, eating it. And again, it's not, that, it's not that bad. It stops your brain from communicating with your heart and lungs. So there is one person that can, uh, that can eat this without being harmed. And that um, that is Donald Trump. He has no brain and no heart. Thank you very much. Whoever wants to cook the burdock root I dug. It's burdock root yeah. that's made into beef jerky. Now, yeah. the flower stalk itself. This is the Cornelian cherry. It's a dogwood. It has leaves in twos, and these berries are incredibly delicious. They're ripe in the second half of the summer, sometimes into the fall. They taste like sour plums. Here's the most dangerous species in the park. Wild peaches because we almost broke our neck last August <laughs> trying to go through here, and they were so good, we had to go. Yeah. Okay, come here quick. We have black raspberries, but they won't be here for long if Violet gets them. And when you find one that's black, eat it right away. But here they are again. Here, taste it. Tastes like lemon. Pass it around. Anything but the stem. The stem is tough. And watch out, right next to it is poison ivy. See this plant with the three leaves? Oh my gosh. A week later, uh, she came on another tour. Both her arms are covered with bandages from her wrist to her elbow. OK, this is the day, Lily has a six-petaled flower. The green part underneath is acrid, but all the rest you eat. Here, pass some out. They are delicious. Under a dictatorship? I have them, but the woods. Oh, yeah, sweet. Is it? Here's the other hot pot. All right. Mm. It's good. We're 
on the vegan foraging food tour and we just bought street hot dirty water dog. <laughs> Yes, yes, you have to cook them and don't use any of the stems. The stems uh, the stems and the leaves have cyanide in them, you know?